This is the third part of the Chapter 10 lecture, and this part will only cover the rules for capitalization. Capitalization is um, seemingly very simple, but when you are trying to identify individual words, sometimes it can get a little bit confusing to know whether you capitalize something or not. So I'm going to go through some of the capitalization rules, but recognize that it's, it's quite extensive. And many times, if you're not sure whether or not to capitalize something, you'll want to look in a resource book, or you can even look online to determine whether something is considered a common noun or a proper noun. So that brings me to the first capitalization rule, which is that common nouns are lowercase, proper nouns are uppercase. So let's talk about the difference between those two things. A noun is a person, place, or thing as we've discussed previously. Common nouns are any various person, place, or things, whereas proper nouns talk about specific, distinct people, places, or things. Let me give you an example to clarify this. So a grocery store could be any grocery store. It could be an H-E-B, it could be a Kroger, it could be a Trader Joe's. It's just a type of a thing. So this is a noun, it's a place. If you're talking about one specific grocery store, like Kroger, then that's a proper noun and you would capitalize the noun to indicate this is a brand, this is specific, it's a proper noun. Grocery store is a common noun, lowercase. Kroger is a proper noun, so it's capitalized. Again, here's another example. If you were just talking about shoes, I bought new shoes today, that could be referring to any different kind of shoe. So this is a common noun, so it's a lowercase. If you're talking about a specific kind of shoe, a particular brand like Nikes, then you would capitalize it. If you said, I bought a pair of Nikes today, then you would capitalize that noun because it's proper. One more example. If you're talking about a city, I'm going to the city today. She lives in a big city. You could be referring to any city. So it's a common noun, it's a lowercase. If you're referring to a specific city like Houston, then you would capitalize it because it's a proper noun. So this is where it seems very simple, but sometimes being able to determine whether a noun is a common noun or a proper noun can be somewhat confusing, and you may need to use a reference book or a reference tool online to help you. The second capitalization rule that I want to talk about has to do with keeping track of members of your family. The rule here is if you are substituting a family name instead of the person's name, you capitalize it. If you're just referring to that person's relationship to you then or to someone else, then you would keep it lowercase. So again, let me give you an example. In this sentence, have you met my mother? I'm not having this phrase take the place of her name. It's referring to her relationship with me. I could not say, have you met my Joan? That doesn't make sense. I'm not substituting this for her name so it's considered a common noun and it's lowercase. Look at the next example, however. Did you know mother is coming to visit? In this case, I'm using the word mother as her name. I could say, did you know Joan is coming to visit? Because I'm using this word in the place of her name, it's considered a proper noun and it's capitalized. Another way to think about this is if you have these pronouns in front of it, like my or her or his, and what follows is going to be a common noun. So if I said, his aunt is very nice, aunt would be lowercase. If I said, um, it's nice to see you, aunt, and I'm using that title instead of her name, then it's capitalized. Okay, the next capitalization rule is concerning titles of books, songs, um, publications, things of that sort. If you have the title of a piece of work, then there's a rule in terms of capitalizing it. So let me show you. is you capitalize any word of a title. If you're talking about the specific title of a book or song or album, then you capitalize each word in the title. 
unless the word in the title is an article. The only three articles in the English language are a, the, and an. You don't capitalize those words. You don't capitalize prepositions, which we've talked about in previous chapters if you need to go review, and you don't capitalize conjunctions, like the fanboy words. None of those words are capitalized in titles, unless those words are the very first word of the title. So let me show you an example. The catcher in the rye. You capitalize all the important words of the title, which is why catcher is capitalized and rye is capitalized. The is one of our articles, and in is a preposition. So they're all lowercase, except this the is capitalized because it's the first word of the title. You always capitalize the first word of the title. Let me show you another example of mice and men. You capitalize the main words, so mice is capitalized, men is capitalized. An is a conjunction, so it's lowercase. Of is a preposition, so it would be lowercase except for it's the first word of the title. And the final example, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. You'd capitalize the important words in the title, so one flew cuckoo nest. This is a preposition, <clears throat> this is an article, so they're lowercase. Capitalize all important words of the title except for prepositions, articles, conjunctions, unless those kinds of words are the first word of the title. Okay, and then um, I want to talk about a different kind of title, meaning a person's title, like professor, president, doctor, etc. If you are using a person's title and it's coming right in front of that person's name, you capitalize it. If you're using the title elsewhere in the sentence, not directly preceding the person's name, then it's lowercase. So let me show you some examples. So I have, she is the president of the company. This is a title, that's a position that one holds within an organization. But because it's just loose here in the sentence, it's lowercase. If you look at the next example, is President Davis here today? This time it's being used as the person's title and coming directly in front of that person's name. So then it's capitalized. It's not capitalized here because it's not directly in front of a name. If instead I said, President Davis is in charge of the company, then president would be capitalized. One more example, I love Dr. Stern because I'm using doctor as this person's title. And think of like Mr. Mrs. Ms. Those are all titles. It's capitalized because it's right in front of that person's name. In this case, he is my friend's doctor. It's not being used as a title, so it's lowercase. Okay, so there are other capitalization rules, some obvious ones, like you capitalize the first word of a sentence, um, and those are covered in your textbook, but these are some of the more confusing ones, um, and we will continue to practice these in class as well.